Here's uh, Conway. Hello, Dave. Hi, mate. You OK? Yeah, good, right, thanks. Okay. All right, buddy. Right, listen, don't shout me down on this one. Just give me one minute, right? And I'll tell one you minute. why Brexit... Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you why Brexit, in the long term, is going to be good for our country. Can't wait. Go ahead. Right. So after Brexit, right, everyone who comes into this country is going to have to go through the immigration system, which which means... Well, they, they do already, have... don't they? No, 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 they don't. Which means that they're going to have to speak English, and to work here, they're going to have to be highly skilled. Well, that's completely untrue. No, it's not, because I've been through the immigration system. I know exactly what it's like, because my wife's Filipino, so we've, we're, we're actually right in the middle of it. Right. So but what, what, what immigration... makes you think that they're going to have to be highly skilled? Because that's the immigration process. To work in this country as an, a non-EU person, mm. you have to be highly skilled. You can't just come into this country and say, I'm going to be a baker or I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to um, spread tarmac on the roads. They okay, have well, then I have, like a, I have a question right off the bat, Dave. Yeah, go on. If that is going to apply to all people, then well, where are we going to get the bakers and the people who well, spread yeah, the tarmac I'm on the road? I'm going to come to that, right? Ah. So as, as unskilled immigration falls, right, this is going to have a long-term beneficial effect, right, on our key services, i.e. schools, housing, and NHS. How will that but be? Then, but let me tell you this. Right, well, no, wait a minute. Then, let's, can, let's take it point by point. How is it going well, to have a long-term benefit? Well, I'm going to tell you because my next, my next point covers oh. it, because unemployment will fall. Because people will lose their benefits if they refuse to do the job. But Let's Dave, we don't have, have a lot wages. of unemployment in this country. We've got loads of unemployment. No, we don't. We've got loads of No, no, we don't. We have full no. employment. You know we don't. You're living yes, Dave, we do. We have we full employment. Right? Employ unemployment is about four uh, percent, there or thereabouts, which is what economists call full employment. You always yeah. need a pool of available people for businesses to take from. If the, if they, if we've got a hundred percent employment, then you, a, an economy can't go anywhere. You always need some people who are unemployed or underemployed for an economy to grow. We have full employment. We do not have an unemployment problem yeah. in this country. Yeah, but Mr. Nick, you're missing my my main point. Unskilled um, uh, unskilled um, immigration will fall, right? Yeah, because. The people will have to go through the immigration process. Right, but, immigration but so what process. are we going to do to fill all the unskilled jobs that won't have anybody doing them anymore? There's people on unemployment benefit which will lose their benefits. Dave, we've used. just gone around in a tight circle. No, we, we, we don't have a, an center. unemployment problem in this country. Nick, we have. You go to any job Oh, my God. No, yeah, of course there are people in job centres. Uh, do I have to explain? On. Do I have to explain it again? Yes, there are some people that are unemployed, but that is a requisite of a healthy economy. You need some people to be unemployed because otherwise businesses wouldn't be able to employ more people. We could have full employment. We, we do have, have full employment. We, we don't, Nick. Dave, you un well, you misunderstand I the phrase full employment. Again, you cannot have 100% of the people employed because that would mean that no business would be able to expand. OK. OK, I'll take your point on the, on the full employment. But what I'm trying to say is everybody, once we leave, once we leave Europe, yeah. everybody is going to have to go through the immigration system. Now, the immigration system is very stringent. It's very hard. Uh, again, it's we've just we've just gone back to the beginning again. So what are we going to do about all of the jobs that are unskilled that people in this country don't want well, to do? Well, this is where we differ. This is where we differ. There are a lot of unemployed people in this country who will be forced to do that type of work or they will lose their benefits. <sighs> OK, well, I've explained it uh, as many times as I can, and I'll just be repeating myself. I've already done so twice, and it still doesn't seem to have, uh, you know, broached your defences or breached your defences, Dave. So I, can't, I can go no further. But anyway, good effort. Uh, yes, top marks for stubbornly sticking to your guns. Now, here's another furious shout.